Hello, this is Jason Wilkinson, and welcome to the VI Road Show, as well as episode five of the Wilkinson Quince Show. The virtual instrument we are going to be talking about today is a program I wrote to keep track of a special set of quintuplets, which are actually my own quintuplets, the Wilkinson Quince. Before we talk about the program I wrote, let's go and take a look at the babies for whom the program was made. Here is Rustin, Ryder, Cadence, Kindle, and Cassidy. That is two boys and three girls. They were born on July 31st, 2007. And as I was preparing to leave for the birth, which took place in Phoenix, Arizona, I started thinking about how we were going to keep track of all the baby's feedings, diaper changes, bowel movements, etc. I had a fairly long plane flight, and to keep my nerves down, I decided to make a program or a virtual instrument to keep track of all of them. You see, when you have five babies, you really need to keep track of things, or else you might not notice if something goes wrong. So here's the VI. One of the most important things we have to keep track of are the feeding times. This little light here indicates whether any of the babies are ready for a feeding. If the light is green, then it means the baby can be fed. We can also keep track of how much to feed each baby. Right now, we have a bunch of different people helping us out, so we need to keep accurate records in case one of us isn't there. If one of the kids gets angry, we also need to be able to check to see if it's just because he or she is hungry or if there was something else wrong, like getting scratched by the fingernails from a sister or brother. Each baby is color-coded, and so we have designed the user interface to go with the colors. When I click on the button here, I go to a chart where I can enter the data for each baby. The VI saves the data to a separate Excel file that I can print off and look up later. In this area, I can tell the time, how much the baby actually ate, whether the baby went shishi or whether the baby went number two. By the way, shishi is a term we use in our house to mean making a diaper wet. I assume you already know what number two means. I also have a space for notes about things like medicine. One of the babies, Kindle, has some really bad reflux and we need to keep track of when we give her the medicine. One of the coolest things about this program was the small amount of time it took me to make. I actually spent more time making the program look pretty for my wife than I did in really programming it. Because I used a cool product called LabVIEW, which is both easy and fun to use. Speaking of LabVIEW, let's go ahead and take a look at the LabVIEW code I used to write this program. For those of you unfamiliar with graphical programming, all of these little pictures I show are actually functions within the language. Programming in LabVIEW basically consists of making diagrams that show the flow of the code between the functions without worrying about things like syntax. All of the functions available in normal programming languages are also available in LabVIEW. This particular program is pretty cool because it has two parallel while loops running simultaneously. This basically means that my program is telling the computer to do two things at the same time. In this program I have two loops, one for monitoring when I press a button and one for keeping track of the feeding times for each baby. They need to be independent because I don't want to reset all of the timers each time I click the button. The cool part about this is that with LabVIEW I can run one of the loops on one core of my processor and the other loop on the other core of my processor. This makes my program run a lot faster than it would on a single core processor. I still have a few tweaks before I can make this program go live, but I'm hoping sometime before the end of the year. Well that's it for the explanation of the program I made. Hopefully you saw that LabVIEW does have some practical uses outside of just measurement and automation. For more VI Roadshow videos, visit viroadshow.com. And for more Wilkinson Quince videos, visit wilkinsonquince.org.